Cincinnati police say they are close to catching a serial bank robber. We now have some photos here. These photos, in fact, of the crime happening, we want to share with you. Investigators say the robber also has a very distinct getaway car. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco joining us here live now from Hyde Park at one of the banks that was robbed last month. Courtney? Craig, I'm here at the U.S. Bank on Edwards Road, and police say this is one of seven banks this guy robbed in seven weeks. Police told us today that this is a very solvable crime if they can get your help. You see him here. Police say he's handing a note to a bank teller, threatening to hurt them if they don't hand over cash. Um, I've interviewed several of the victim tellers once actually um, handed me the note and a lot of them are very, very shaken up. Officer Joseph Keating met us Friday afternoon to get surveillance videos out to more people who can maybe identify the man under the mask and hoodie. He's been one step behind the robber since November 9th when he hit a U.S. bank in Mount Washington. Since that day, officers say he's robbed at least six other banks from Oakley and Hyde Park to Sharonville and Norwood. We started to notice that the demand note was similar and things that he had said or done with the tellers is similar. Officers say he drives this Chrysler, a 300C model, grayish blue, nine spoke wheels. What sets it apart are the chrome side mirrors and door handles and a dent on the front passenger fender. He's going in relatively in and out rather relatively quick. He's been very cognizant to not leave fingerprints and take his note back. Investigators believe he has been laying low since December 28th. They won't reveal how much money he's gotten away with, but remind us he's also taking something from those he threatens to hurt. You should feel safe in your home. You should also feel safe at work. Yeah, it might just be the bank's money, but these are individuals who are actually suffering trauma from being a victim of a crime. I asked officers if he shows a weapon or a gun, and they say he implies he has one. Another thing that stood out is officers say he wears retro, colorful, clean new sneakers, and officers are offering a $1,500 reward for anyone who can help find him. You just got to call Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in Hyde Park, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.